Hello everybody, welcome to my tutorial on how to hack and toss your Intel device. So first you're gonna need Balena Etcher and this raw file which is the raw file for Mac OS X Mavericks. Um, so we are going to launch Balena Etcher. Wait for it to start up, it might take some time depending on your machine. Now plug in your device, your USB storage device and now press select flash file and choose the raw file just press open and press flash So I'm gonna skip validation because I do not need it but you can continue with validation. So now you are gonna get a bunch of errors begging you to format your USB flash drive. Just click cancel and do not format your device. It is just saying that because it's in, in an unsupported file format that Windows does not support. So now close out of Balena HR and now just Plug your device back into your computer after unplugging it and it should show up in an EFI folder. Close out of this first window and then look at this EFI folder. Click on EFI OC and then look you're gonna see a bunch of configuration files down here. This is the one for my computer but you can use any of these depending on your computer. You have to look up the name for it. For mine is Intel Pentium so I'm gonna use the Pentium one and I'm gonna rename it to config.plist after you're done with that just eject your device and unplug it from your computer and we can now move on to our device now plug in your USB stick to your computer and power it on wait for it to get to the Mac OS boot select screen So once it gets to the boot select screen you are going to see a bunch of options uh, so you are just going to go select the first one and press enter. This is going to take some time so please patiently wait for it to start up to the macOS installer. Once it starts, you're gonna see that it's in the Turkish language. So you're just gonna go and press Doga and then Digi Digiştir. And just click it. It's gonna take some time to load to the setup, to the language changing screen. So please patiently wait. So it's gonna load the language screen now and just select English then press continue. Now it's going to be in English, so we're going to first go to Disk Utility and press Continue. We're going to select your hard disk or SSD and click Erase. First make sure that your BIOS is set to AHCI mode instead of IDE because macOS does not work with IDE. We're gonna select the drive, rename it, and format it. Be sure to change your keyboard to ABD, which is United States of America. And we're gonna erase it now. So 
So once it's done, close out of the disk utility and open utilities, then terminal. Because you're gonna have to write a specific command. Because if we don't write this command, it will fail and think that validation is wrong. So you're gonna type in date 10100033014 in terminal and then press enter. Once you're done with typing that. Once you press enter, it's gonna show you this date, which is in 2014. And after you're done with that, press on terminal, then quit terminal. Now we can continue with installing macOS. So press install OS X and press continue. Also, make sure to not connect to Wi Fi before, up until it asks you to do that. So then agree to the terms and service of macOS and select our hard disk. Once you get to the screen, press and hold on the power button until the system completely shuts down. Then press your power button again to start your computer and wait for it to get back to the boot select menu. Once it gets to the boot select menu, be sure to select the hard disk instead of the installer because now we have the hard disk with macOS on it. So now it's gonna boot to the setup screen, it's gonna be in Turkish, but I'm gonna guide you through it. So first you're gonna press Tmunu Gusta, which will show everything else, and ABD is the United States, and ABD is Dish, Alash Deri, and the other ones are the corresponding territories. So I'm gonna look for Bahrain, and select my country, and then press continue. And this is the Turkish keyboard, just select all, and select ABD if you're using American keyboard, just select your corresponding keyboard. Press next and now we're gonna enter the Wi-Fi password for computer. This is where you can enter it because it's no longer installing, you're just setting up your computer. Be sure to press next instead of enter because enter does not work. Wait for it to connect your Wi-Fi and then proceed to the next step. So now we are not going to copy or transfer files from another computer, so just select the last option, press next. Apple servers are down for this, so we are just going to press next. And then you are going to agree to the terms and service, and press the blue button, which means I agree. And now you are going to set up your user account, and I am going to block out this thing. So we are just going to select no for Apple Keychain, because it does not work either. And now your Mac is successfully set up. It's gonna start your computer now to the desktop. You can now unplug your USB device and I'm gonna show you how to change it to English because some of you may not be fluent with Turkish or cannot understand Turkish. So you're gonna open system preferences. Then select the option of the flag of the United Nations. This one. So, you're going to see Turkish, just press the negative icon, which will get rid of the Turkish option. And to default to English, so press back and then press the blue button, which will prompt it to restart your machine. So you're going to press that and make sure to plug back in your USB device so that it boots. Every time you boot, you're going to need that USB device. Now press and hard reset your computer. Hard resetting means pressing and holding the power button. So once you're done with that, power it on back again and wait for it to start. So this time do not choose your installer, just choose your hard disk. You no longer need the installer, you just need it to boot to your hard disk because your computer does not support booting to the hard disk.
Now that it successfully booted, you're gonna see that the login screen is still in Turkish, but everything else is in plain English. So just log into your account, and when you press enter, you're gonna see that it is in English. Now after that you go to your desktop, you can safely unplug your USB device. You can set up now your calendar settings and whatever. I personally do not use 24 hour time, so I'm going to turn it off and the first day of week starts on Sunday. So I'm going to close out of system preferences because I do not need it anymore. So I hope this video was useful to you and I'll see you in the next video.